Hello dear subscribers, I hope that and that you are doing fine and uh, a few days ago a friend of mine uh, requested this video uh, so that I, I could uh, present to all, my, uh, to all of my subscribers my resources uh, to learn Turkish okay let's start um, with the resources which are explained in uh, at least one foreign language and then we'll move to uh, resources only in Turkish and I'll just present Turkish as a very important language not important but if you like Turkish it's uh, spoken uh, by 80 million uh, people and um, Turkish people are very uh, nice so if you go to Turkey just learn some phrases and you'll see how people will uh, welcome you okay let's go um, yeah I know this is not the Turkish teacher self it's uh, the Filipino Tagalog I don't have the teacher self for um, Turkish but I just looked through it in the store and I think it's okay it's good so you can purchase a uh, teacher self for uh, Turkish obviously as I said this is not for Turkish but it's the only teacher self I have so okay and uh, yeah I have I, I used uh, ASML to learn Turkish obviously this is not the one for Turkish but uh, I lent it to a friend uh, so um, I don't have it at home uh, yeah ASML is definitely good this is the one for Russian uh, it al it's always the same system. I, I haven't used it for Russian, so I, I don't know. This is a brand new book. Yeah, I had it for quite a long time, but I have never studied Russian in depth. So um, here you have one side, which is in, um, in, how should I say, in Russian or in Turkish, if you learn Turkish, and one side in the your mother tongue which in my case is French here and you can buy it also for in English there is in French English uh, Japanese for some resources you can you can just go to asml.com and you'll see okay those are the only resources uh, I should I would use just to have a head start um, to learn Turkish or any other language those two resources to begin a language are good and uh, after that you you'll switch to resources just written in uh, Turkish because uh, those resources are a little bit different uh, just let me show you the first I use was called Türkçe öğreniyorum and uh, it's I don't know Hakan Yulmaz I think it says uh, it's a CD and kitab. Kitab is a book. So this Türkçe öğreniyorum is very very good. Um, I'll show you. You have um, içindekiler. Yeah, it's all the chapters in the book. And each chapter is with a dialogue. So if... How should I... Okay. There is a dialogue. And you have the audio. And then uh, you have some questions about the text. Uh, true or false it's not so important and then uh, the topics are very general so you have uh, nerede alışveriş yapıyoruz uh, where are we going to buy things shopping kiraluk uh, ev it means um, I want to rent a, uh, uh, I'm looking for accommodation and so on mutlu I'm ha uh, happiness uh, pahalı uh, elbise it means uh, um, clothes that are expensive Mart just trash oluyor uh, it means Marcus is going to the hairdresser and it's good uh, because uh, those um, conversations are very uh, useful to learn uh, vocabulary and then it's about uh, conversation in the taxi and it's well done. I really like this book, Sohbet. Sohbet means uh, conversation, so conversation between family. It's kind of a teacher self or uh, an asimil without any 
English or French in it and you have normally you have also let me find it yeah you have on the back uh, okay let me show you here says look it means dictionary and you have all the words translated at least into English because as you know English is kind of a global language so uh, everyone should understand it better okay and um, this is the first one I used and uh, let me show you the second one it's the same but it says Turche Okyorum Iki which is Turche Okyorum uh, 2 and um, it's the same system always uh, general topics conversations Ali doctora gitti Ali went to the doctor and all conversations this is excellent to learn Turkish and you have the audio with it so uh, I highly recommend you to get it Ev Temizli uh, cleaning at home what do we have next Sezai uh, Trafikte Sezai it's, a, uh, it's someone's name Trafikte in the he's just driving and he has an, a car accident and you can learn about cars accident about animals what can you learn? A lot of things I learned through this book, Telefonda at the phone. So very general topic and you have also a dictionary at the end so you could uh, search for words that you don't know. If you have some troubles uh, reading texts, okay? Those are resource, uh, e uh, excellent resources to start with if you have a basic uh, knowledge of Turkish. And then we move to uh, complicated resources in Turkish, but always for people who want to learn through reader, re I don't know, books uh, a little bit simplified for foreigners. So it says Türkçe öğreniyoruz iki. Türkçe means Turkish öğreniyoruz, we learn two. I didn't uh, take the uh, first one because it was it was not well done, so two is okay. Um, this is rather complicated because um, you have a text and everything is in Turkish. Is it? It's a little bit old, but it's uh, the content is very good. They go uh, they go to Uluda. Uluda is uh, somewhere in Turkey to to ski and then uh, yeah. Uh, let me show you on. Okay. So how is um, a lesson? Conversations very good in the hotel. How to book a room, etc. At the reception, dilbilgisi. Uh, it's grammar, so you get the grammar explained without the the explanation. Let me tell you, it's a little bit weird, but uh, you just have to understand the grammar rule through examples, which is very good uh, b because. Um, Sometimes uh, explanations are confusing and just having an example is clearer than uh, or having two three examples are is actually clearer than uh, asking for a long description of the grammar rule. It depends for which language but uh, this is okay and you have some uh, uh, some comics like uh, Bosch Odanız var mı? You have a free um, room okay and here you have some questions about the text you s uh, you learned before and uh, here you have to answer okay uh, let me yeah another comic and you have to apply some grammar rules there are not a lot of uh, grammar drills and you have atasözleri this is very good atasözleri means proverbs in uh, in um, in uh, Turkish so you have one line one proverb because it's very important when you learn when you learn a language to know some expressions and then uh, yeah lokantada in the restaurant and so on this is a very good book picnic day they go picnic um, I don't know I learned a lot through those books and ish dönüşü when they come back from work and yeah I think it's a very good book very and you have some tables of conjugations sometimes they go to buy some clothes very 
general topics I learned a lot from this book okay let me show you the third one Wait. okay I also use the third one uh, okay it's kind of uh, the same but harder you, ha you got a lot of um, a lot of text and it's uh, kind of more complicated and you you know when I read here I just write a vocabulary just there so I, I know I know Bil Bilur is crystal or Kent is city actually I, I write it in Dilemek uh, Suete in French okay Uzatmak se prolonger and so on but you can write it in your own language and you have a lot of text which is great and uh, then you have one text to describe the situation and this, uh, the following text is actually not a text but a conversation and don't, uh, don't forget that you get the audio also so you can learn a lot from those books and conversations a lot longer than in the previous one okay uh, okay what should I say more about this book yeah this is this is it it's okay it uh, it's a lot of culture about k Turkey how to bargain and stores etc etc it's very interesting and those those texts are very long so you can learn a lot of vocabulary and uh, what I actually advise you guys to do when you learn because a lot of uh, a lot of people ask you how long you have been studying one language so you cannot re reply two months three months or one year two years people don't know what you mean when you say one year it depends how much time you put into it so let me see if I wrote it here yeah I wrote it in this book so each day uh, I, I write uh, the date and how many minutes I minutes I learn so 30 minutes the day after 45 21 uh, I was very consistent when learning Turkish so almost every day I learned uh, at least 20 minutes and when I was very motivated I learned one hour of or two hour hours and yeah I do it in all books so uh, you know here the dates and how much how many minutes I did not a lot but at least 25 minutes a day and sometimes I I just go on Skype and talk for five, five hours it was crazy I talked with Turkish people and uh, just sum up and 18 hours comma uh, and whatever and uh, yeah I did it uh, in each book and you can see I learned a lot of Turkish like uh, one line is one day and you know uh, I learned a lot of Turkish like I was very consistent like here is 24 hours of study for this book but uh, throughout the year or two months or something like that okay and um, here also I think yeah I, I put it everywhere and uh, so I know how many hours I have been studying uh, Turkish and right now I think I, I've been studying it for 250 hours and if I include all conversations I had uh, in Turkey it, it's maybe I spoke a lot maybe I don't know 20 30 hours with people I made some videos so uh, yeah this is the, actually the first part of uh, my Turkish resources I went to Turkey and there I bought a lot of resources so uh, I'll share with you um, my other resources in the next video and uh, be sure to watch it and um, yeah talk to you soon